In this video, I will be taking you through entire branding process from scratch. We're talking research, mood boards, logos, and how everything ties together across the brand. Instead of just talking about the project, I show you exactly what I did, step by step. So this client came to me for a website. They had no logo, no branding, no colors, like literally nothing. They just wanted a website. And this is very common in the startups. So the first thing I did, I sent them a creative brief form to fill it up. Yes, it's a boring form, a bit long, but it's a lifesaver. It tells me who they are, what they do, what they think they want, and what they actually need. This brand is called Flick and it's a software company who help to organize emails and draft our responses by using previous communications. So basically, it's like AI email helper. We chatted about their competition, users, what they love, what they hate, the usual. And that gave me a very clear starting point. I started prepping a mini research deck not the full blown, just like a lightweight version, just specifically for the logo. Since this part is just about the bright identity, I'm not gonna go dive into UX. That will come later when we're gonna tackle the website properly. For now, I'll focus more on building the core visual and face of the brand. So the main idea behind the Flink is an email automation. AI that helps you keep up with the threads, draft replies, and not to lose your mind in a flooded inbox. So I had to position the brand as go to plate for people who want to make their email less painful. Look, I know it's tempting to jump straight to Figma or Adobe, but you might be missing this one step that making design 10 times easier. I'm talking about mood board and ideation. You heard about it, but how you actually do it. The key to mood boarding is to figure out the feeling you want to give off. Not just focusing on the color and fonts, but we want to tell a story, set the tone and capture the energy. So I opened the Kittel Infinite Canvas and just dump all my ideas in there. So step one, we're going to write all the keywords that are relevant to this brand and also what the client give me in the questionnaire form. So based on three things, what the software actually do and what is the company about, I'm going to create similar keywords or the one that I think are related to one. So for email, could be sending, then could be flying, then could be bird. For AI, that's very modern. It's technology, computers. For helper, I'm thinking assistant, hand, like a helping hand. And I'm gonna spend some time and create as many keywords as possible. And then I'm gonna try to narrow them down to get the actual meaning so we can find something to start with for creating a logo. Step two I always do is to build the three distinctive directions. So based on the brief I'm gonna create mockups. I'm gonna use websites like Pinterest, Arena, Cosmos, Dribbble to gather my inspirations. I don't want to go very strictly on colors here. I like to just give an overall feeling. So the first mood board I created is like a blue and orange but could be as well black and white, to be honest. For me, the most important while presenting this direction would be to tell them about how we're gonna incorporate illustrations, about the choice of uh, typography, which in this scenario is sans serif, what kind of feeling we want, so this is fun, clean, friendly, but it's not too much corporate, but still is on the techie side. Examples of the minimal wordmark, I'm also going to include some elements of the uh, interfaces into our mood board. Next, we have more modern style, which is the gradient, fractals, maybe 3D elements. It's definitely way more bold in colors, so we are not limited here, but it's again sans serif and very clean, clean look. And the third direction is again a bit more playful. We have the swiggle, line art, example of how the website could look like, the illustration on the website, maybe some patches. So one advice I can give you is always to jump on a call with client to present them the mood board because you know exactly why you chose this element and you can explain how they can be implemented in just instead of just sending a PDF or presentation. So you want to go through very deeply into tone and voice, how each element can be incorporated into their brand and assure this is not the final version. They can, of course, mix and match different elements from different mood boards. They can use green as a main color, but at the same time, more into illustration vibe. It's whatever feels right to them. So after I present mood boards to the clients, they made the final choice and they decided they wanna go with the gradient side, which was actually my preferred side. I feel stronger on that one. So now it's the time to sketch. I always start this bit messy, just taking whatever I have in my head straight on a paper. I knew I wanted something that screams speed, clarity and digital first. So it needed to work very well as an app icon, look good on mobile and not fall apart when it's gonna be shrink into very minimal size. Once I had a strong shape, I jumped again into Kittel. They recently released a new pen tool, which is super smooth and easy to tweak curves 
like adjust the anchor points or make everything just pixel perfect. I think this one will work really well as a favicon and as well as an ala. Then I explored the typography. I really wanted something chunky but also sans serif. Ideally we want to use similar typeface for our web design to be more on brand so I chose the final typeface I like and I played to make it more custom and on brand. Just the Splin Sans font. What I like about that one is because already have some kind of element that we can play with the other letters. I will try to make it slightly bit more fatter and also reuse that shape on the letter I. Making sure everything is aligned and the spacing is equal between the letters, I think we have this part done. It's quite minimal logo, but that was the point. The brand wanted modern, minimal look, sans serif, very plain and simple, with just a tiny touch on personal feeling. Since we go in with the gradient concept, I also made sure the logo will look good when placed on a gradient. And the most important part, we're gonna mock up how the icon gonna look next to other apps. If we stand in from the others, that's a good point. With the logo locked in, it's time for all the other mockups. We wanna focus how it will look in real life, so I've designed a real sample, hero section and a couple of patterns as well as other UI elements and also a few marketing examples. We also gonna use Kittle for creating the mockups because I really wanted to show them the logo in different contexts. They told me they really like the simple black cap with just logo on it. And the truth is, it's not about making stuff look cool on the presentation, but also in actual life. And all of that we're gonna include in a brand presentation and send it to client. And this is when the project clicks for the client. It's not just the logo, it's a thing at this point. And honestly, it makes the web design process so much easier. So if you ever get a website brief with zero branding, go ahead and build branding for them. Doesn't have to be super fully branded. It can be just simple as this. Couple of colors, logo, and a clear direction. Don't cry, build it from scratch and guide the clients. Use tools like Kittle to make design time stamp faster. And that's it for this one. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a final website breakdown. See you next one. Bye!